There is perhaps no symbol of the Wild West more iconic than the 440 steam locomotive. For much of the 19th century, these mechanical beasts transformed the landscape of an entire continent, hauling passengers and cargo ever further west as America's network of railroads grew. But by the turn of the century, as trains grew longer and heavier and steam locomotives evolved to match, these perky little tea kettles began to look small, slow, and downright quaint compared to the bigger, faster, and more powerful locomotives that replaced them. However, even today, the glory days of early North American steam hold a special place in the heart of many a railroad enthusiast. And that brings me to today's model, the Bachman 440, one of the most popular HO scale steam locomotives of the past few decades. Although it's most commonly seen in the paint scheme of the Central Pacific's famous Jupiter locomotive, the actual prototype for this model is the Virginia and Truckee No. 22 Inyo, which was built by Baldwin in 1875. Unlike the Jupiter, the Inyo survived into preservation and resides at the Nevada State Railroad Museum, where it's occasionally steamed up for special events. The Inyo has been featured in a number of film and TV productions, including Cecil B. DeMille's Union Pacific in 1939, Disney's The Great Locomotive Chase in 1956, and the original TV version of The Wild Wild West in 1965. The Bachman Jupiter version actually does have some basis in reality, as the Inyo was decorated to represent the Jupiter for the 1969 Golden Spike Centennial Ceremony. This is one of those ubiquitous Bachman models, like the USRA 060 and the Plasticville Station, that's been around seemingly forever. There was even an N-scale version. However, the one you can buy today is a far cry from the fussy, unreliable tender drive versions of years past. Around 2014, Bachman completely retooled this model from the ground up, and while it's based on the same prototype as before, the large, noisy open frame motor in the tender is gone, replaced by a much smaller and smoother running can motor inside the engine itself. This wasn't possible when the model was first introduced in the 1970s, because the bulky motors of the time simply wouldn't fit inside correctly scaled models of tiny 19th century steam engines. Some other manufacturers solved this problem by making the model slightly oversized, but Bachman elected instead to keep the model at the correct scale, move the motor to the tender, and connect it to the engine with a drive shaft. While this was a clever solution, and quite common at the time, Bachman's engineering and design of this model left a lot to be desired, and getting them to run reliably was difficult at best. So, when small enough motors were finally available, they retooled the entire model to solve the problem once and for all. And it worked! The new 440 does still have a few inevitable quirks, such as needing traction tires to have any decent pulling power, but for the most part, it performs just as well as any other modern ready-to-run locomotive. Some detail issues from the old version have been fixed, such as the chunky headlight and missing counterweights on the driving wheels, and although performance isn't quite as smooth as a flywheel-equipped diesel, it's easily on par with most of Bachmann's other steam locomotives. Of course, it's not perfect. For instance, the cowcatcher is far too small, and the front coupler is both anachronistic and goofy-looking. The cab only has room for about half of an interior, and what there is has no detail to speak of. The tender trucks are the wrong type, the headlight droops slightly, the pilot wheels get stuck sometimes, and the wood load in the tender looks like it's made of cheese. But all of these are small nitpicks, and overall, this is a superb little engine and one of my favorites in my collection. Being one of the very few models of 19th century prototypes out there in HO scale, it will surely remain a staple of western-themed layouts for years to come.
Well folks, that about wraps up this video. While it does have its fair share of idiosyncrasies, the new Bachmann 440 is a wonderful little model that does a great job of capturing the charm and glamour of 19th century American steam. I do plan on fixing a few of the issues I have with mine, such as adding a bigger cow catcher and maybe a name on the side of the cab, as well as a more detailed wood load, but it's a fantastic little model either way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.